energy door is blocking your way to the radar array. You'll have to find a way to shut it down. I expect you can think of something. Crypto, you need to increase the intensity of those radar emissions. Perhaps if you cross the beams. Oh no, wait. That would be. I'm a little fuzzy on the whole good bad thing. Try to imagine all life as you know it stopping instantaneously, and every molecule in your body exploding at the speed of light. Total protonic reversal. Right. That's bad. Got it. No, no. There's no use for it. We're just going to have to take the risk. Do it. Cross the beams. Cross them for all your worth. You asked for it. Core temperature 70%. Core temperature 99%. We, are, we must be shutting down radar immediately, or this thing is going to be exploding any second. Well, Cryptosporidium, once again you showed unexpected luck. You've stopped my weapon launching. Pity, really. We had such glorious renovation plans for that pathetic little planet. But no matter. <laughs> You've nearly staved off the inevitable. You can't fight progress, Furon. Get this through your monkey brain, Millenkov. We own that planet. And there's not a damn thing that you or your rusky pals can do about it. Such bluster, such overconfidence, <laughs> yet still you can't see the big picture. I wonder, would you feel so arrogant if you knew the full scope of our... 
fiendish master plan! You two big tin horn petty tyrant! I fart bigger than you! You think just because you can keep a few depressed peasants in line, you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? I'm the king of the world! The master of disaster! The baddest dude in the whole damn town! King Kong ain't got nothing on me! King Kong died, Cryptosporidium. I wonder, would you be so sure of yourself if you knew our Fiendish master plan! Millie, I'm gonna probe you so hard, you're gonna be wearing diapers for a month. I already take a weekly high colonic, but thank you for the offer. On the other hand, I wonder, would you be so bold if you knew our... Devilish master plan! You guys just gotta have your monologues, don't you? Okay, I give. What's your damn master plan? Let me guess. You and the Blisk are gonna spread those spores and enslave humanity. Commies and crabbies, a match made in heaven. <laughs> Small minds, no imagination. It's nothing so mundane. We don't give a damn about humanity, Cryptosporidium. What we want from Earth is the same thing you want. Survival. So the Krampies want a new crib. What's wrong with Mars? Mars is a desert. An acid wasteland. You furon so to that. But Earth... Earth is three-fifths water. All it lacks is massive radioactivity to become a new Eden, a new radiated ocean paradise for Blisk! But what about the Russians? Your people can't live in that. <laughs> My people? <laughs> oh, you really aren't very bright, are you? Why do you think we've waged Cold War, encouraged the buildup of nuclear arms? Good God, what sane human would pursue such obvious suicide? 1908, Blisk worship crashes. 1917, act of revolution. Do the mad! You, of all creatures, should know. Aliens walk among us. Da? You're not suggesting. Suggesting? I'm telling you. Lenin, Stalin, Khrushchev. Trotsky? Please, don't be ridiculous. It helped that Russian is so close to Bliskish. No coincidence, of course. The Furans aren't the only race who ever used Earth for... sure live. Face it, Kryptosporidium. You Furans have been out schemed. The history of the Soviet Union is the history of Blisk on Earth. The loss of our spores is a blow, but in the end it makes no difference. Soon, Earth will be ours. No more humans! No more poor of DNA! And there's not a goddamn thing you can do about it! Lestrovia Cryptosporidium. Boom! <laughs>